Okay, so here we have the lateral view of the skull. We'll point out the large bones first, and then we'll go ahead and look at the smaller parts. So this bone right here would be the frontal bone. This bone would be the right parietal bone. This bone here, this whole thing, is the temporal bone. And this bone back here would be the occipital bone. This bone would be the mandible. This would be the zygomatic bone. And this would be the maxillary bone couple of features that I want to point out would be on the temporal bone you have the external acoustic or auditory meatus. Right? Some processes include the mastoid process and the styloid process. So styloid like a stylus like I'm holding in my hand here so it's pointy. Uh, the zygomatic process of the temporal bone now don't get this confused, it's called the zygomatic process because it's reaching towards the zygomatic bone, but it's still a part of the temporal bone. So again, it's the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. On the zygomatic bone, you'll notice this piece right here, this is called the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. That you can guess, it's because it's reaching towards the temporal bone. So again, this is the zygo or the temporal process of the zygomatic bone, and this is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. Together, they make up what's called the zygomatic, zygomatic arch, or uh, sometimes we refer to that as the cheekbone, as a layman's term. A couple of other features to point out are the sutures. So we have this suture right here, which is called the coronal suture. We have this one right here between the temporal bone and the parietal bone. We call that the squamosal or squamous suture. And this one back here between the parietal and occipital bone, we call that the lambdoidal suture. 